Hey guys, you're here with Brittany again, and today I'm going to be showing you a makeup tutorial. And this is normally going to be used for every outfit. This is just neutral makeup, and I'm going to be showing you that today. So let's get started. So I've already applied a few things to my face. I've applied the CoverGirl Concealer just to problem areas, dealing with acne and stuff like that, and under my eyes. And then I applied throughout my whole entire face with the e.l.f. Almond Tinted Moisturizer to just blend my face. And then I've also added the Classic Tan 260 and CoverGirl Foundation. So I've already applied those to my face. And the next product that we're going to be do using is the e.l.f. Palette. And these are just in basic neutral colors that we're going to be using today. And I'm going to be using the eyeshadow brushes from, from e.l.f. This one is the defining brush, this littler one, and this is just the full coverage brush. We're going to be taking this color right here, this skin colorish right here. I'm using that. And we're just going to apply that on the whole lid. Now I have a mirror over here to my right, so I'm going to be looking in that. And you just want to apply that on the whole lid as much as you like until you're comfortable with it. There we are. And then we're going to be taking our defining brush like I've showed you. We're going to be applying this brownish color right here in our e.l.f. palette and we're going to be just applying that to the lower right corner and left corner of our eyes. I feel like I'm the only one that opens my mouth while I do my makeup. <laughs> if you do that, comment below so I don't feel weird. Because I've had a lot of people comment me on that, like when I'm over at a friend's house, and they're like, why are you opening your mouth? You're so weird. <laughs> but I feel like I'm the only one that does it, but if you do it, just let me know, because I feel kind of weird. But, so we just applied that, and that is it for the eyeshadow. Like I said, this is more of a neutral, you know, for every outfit kind of makeup look. And then I'm going to be using the Revlon smoky crayon. This is for eyelining and we're going to be using that. So we're just going to apply our eyeliner. There we are. And the next product we're going to be using is mascara. I got this at Target and it's the Lightning Defining Mascara from e.l.f. Like I said, I really like e.l.f.'s products. Um, they're a very good company with makeup and they're also very affordable. So we're just going to be applying that all over the lashes. And I don't use a curler or anything on my lashes. My lashes are just, you know, normally like this. So I don't use any curling or anything on my eyelashes. So there's the mascara. And our next... And our last thing is the lips, and like I said in recent videos, is the Victoria's Secret Shiny Mocktail Hour. Um, I use this on my lips just a very little, so I, let's apply that to the lips. Get that spread around on there. 
And then once that is done, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild, and this is in the color Pink Sugar, and we're just going to be dabbing that on our lower lip. And this will give us more of a nude co color for our lips. And those are our lips. They're more of a nude color. And this is the basic makeup for any outfit. And if you have any questions or concerns, just let me know. Thanks. And I had a few people ask me about my whitening products that I use on my teeth. I actually don't use any whitening strips or anything like that. I just brush my teeth three times a day and I use the 3D Crest whitening, uh, whitening toothpaste. Um, that's all I really use and I just floss my teeth and take really good care of my teeth and my teeth come out white. So I think using the 3D Crest whitening toothpaste really helps me. So I really do recommend that, you know, that toothpaste. It doesn't cause any pain for me. I don't have sensitive, sensitive teeth. Um, if one of you guys do, um, if you guys have problems with that, just come back to me and I'll try out other products. Or you can try, try out other products and just let me know if the 3D Crest Whitening Toothpaste worked for you. Heard that people are having problems with the Crest whitening strips and I bought a few of those and I'm going to be trying those out and just seeing how those work. I know that some people have had pain with the strips. I have really haven't got close to the strips yet but I d did buy a pack of the whitening strips and I will be doing a review and more um, on the toothpaste and stuff once I get more of that. I'll be having a whole video come out with the Crest whitening set and I will put that up soon. Talk to you later.